He's a nice move. Yeah, he's pretty darn cute. Do you had a connection with him? He's pretty darn like, cute. I know. When I saw when I saw the video, I was like, oh my god, he's really adorable. Good. And just ride him into that connection. A little bit shorter, Rain. Keep your thumbs on tap. Widen your hands just a little bit there, and just hold the contact quietly but steady. And leg on. Little inside bend. Slow your post in if he gets a little zippy. Good. I will say, every single horse you've ridden this weekend has been night and day different. Like, every single one. <laughs> Good. Lovely there. Good job, kid. Leg on. Good. So your leg just kind of supports him when he's down there. Change direction someplace. Now keep him on the outside rein. He's like, oh, we can't read. I know. Good. That's excellent. Excellent there. Very nice. Keep the leg. Just your calf, though, not your heel so much. Good. Quieter with the hands, not so much back and forth, just more of a steady feel. And your calf rides and squeezes them up into your hand. Nice there. Excellent. You do not look big on him at all. You'll see when you watch the video how you look. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a video montage. Video montage. For you when you get home tonight. To compare. She has really good posture too, that helps. Oh gosh, yeah, I yeah. Think she would clean up in the equitation. Yes, she would. Don't make her do that. I won't. Okay. That's and up boring. in two point, gallop him on a little bit. Shorter reins, hands out in front of you. Good, isn't he comfy? It lulls you into letting the canter stay too small, though. Yep. It does me, anyway. I'm like, I'll just pity pad along because it's super comfy. Make sure he's straight through his body. Little outside leg and rein. And now come forward. Use your seat. Engage your butt. Good. And softer with the elbows. A little bit softer through the shoulders. Sit down and around on him. Very nice. 